there, my HQ Ds, and welcome to your Tuesday afternoon dose of trivia. I'm Sharon Carpenter, your warm and cozy presenter at your phone weapon center, but you are out there in New York. And this is HQ Trivia, where you use your brain to make it rain. Now, as you know, this is season two of HQ Trivia. Bigger, badder, and full of surprises. You just never know what can happen when we're live. It could be anything. During last season, millions of you earned billions of points and you win the big bucks. You wanted more, so we are giving you more for every point earned by players this season. The prize will keep getting bigger and bigger until the season finale at the end of February. Okay, it's time to check in on that prize right now. WTH, look at that. It now stands at $56,879. Whoa, who knows just how high it will go. We'll keep going and going. Now you win points by answering questions correctly, sharing to social for the HQ app. And this season you can even earn bonus points for winning the game. That's right. Points help you reach levels. Leveling up gives you free passes. A free pass lets you get a question wrong and still stay in the game. The higher your level, the more free passes you have. The highest level you can get to is level 10. So listen up. You hit level 10. That means you'd only have to answer a few questions correctly to win HQ for the rest of the season and strap in tightly because this season we are giving out even more money than we did the last time around. Lots and lots of cash. Now today you are playing for 50 million points to help you boost your status and level up even faster. And remember, extra lives keep you in the game. You can buy one now if you see it on your screen. It's the way to stay in the game when you get question wrong but remember you can't use them on the final round so don't even try you can also earn one for free by playing five days in a row all right it's time to get savage like my boy sir savage the 21st yes he's one of my kind that's kind of cool right pinky fingers up and get ready to tap those answers it's time to get to the quizzing let's do this players here we go with q one. Which of these is a common form of punctuation? Marky mark, question mark, Deutsch mark. Time for you to make your own mark on the game early on. Marky mark is probably better at punching than punctuation. The true star of all my questions and yours too. The question mark. Of course, ain't no question about it for 189,000 of your well done. Be careful not to tap the exclamation mark instead of the question mark when texting. We've all done it. You don't want to seem too eager. I'm eager about this though. Get out the leg warmers and the leotards because tonight we are heading back to the 80s. Eat my shorts. That's all happening tonight at 9 p.m. Eastern with Matt. It's going to be a whole lot of fun and so is this. Q2. According to the Chinese Zodiac, today's Lunar New Year kicks off the year of the what? Instagram receipt, Lego Aquaman, pig. Happy New Year, everybody. It's a celebration. I don't know what an Instagram receipt is, and neither do you. Blocked. It's all about the hogs and the swines here. It's the year of the pig who is oinking on to the next round, 184,000 if you are. If you already broke your resolutions, yeah, you right there. You get one more chance to make it happen. It's your lucky day, it turns out. All right, big news, everyone. Tomorrow we're doing something that's never been done before. Get ready to rethink everything you thought you knew about animation. This will change history. It's a special HQ event, live from Australia, in celebration of the Lego Movie 2. Scott is going down under to present HQ trivia in a way you never, ever have seen before. $75,000 is up for grabs, and a handful of lucky players will win a rare limited edition collectible capsule. How cool. All going down tomorrow at 9 p.m. Eastern. Can't wait. Trust me, you will cry if you miss that. You'll cry if you miss this too, it's Q3. Which US state is the smallest by area? Rhode Island, Arkansas, Virginia. Well, if you live there, and only a few of you do, then you already got this, haven't you? Out west, you've got massive states. Well, here on the east, things get a little snug. The only thing big about this one is its name, 
Victory is mine! It's Rhode Island. Okay, that was supposed to be my Stewie expression. It was terrible. Impression, should I say. 179,000 of you were impressed by it, though. Delaware is the second smallest in the country, while Arkansas, well, it isn't small at all, really, is it? Q4. Which type of alcohol is traditionally found in sangria? Is it rum, cider, or wine? I could do with some sangria right now after my... Terrible stewy impression. If you make sangria out of rum, it will be a whole different kind of party, that's for sure. Whether you opt for red or white, this cool cocktail is made from wine. No whining for 155,000 if you, cause you got it right. Add a little fruit in there, yummy. And if you really want to spice up your night, a few shots of brandy always does the trick as well. Looking good, looking good. Q. Five. What color is the bottom stripe on the US flag? Red, white, or blue? You see how patriotic you really are? Red, white, or blue? If you said blue, no fireworks for you. Old Glory spots the same color at the top and the bottom, and that color is red. Red is the answer we were looking for. All oh, 70,000 of you gone. Brutal. 100,000 of you still in the game. There are 13 stripes in the American flag, repping the 13 former colonies. This is your lucky number after all. All right, well done to you 100,000. And we're moving on to Q6. The Inca Empire was primarily located in what present day place? Mexico, Nicaragua, Peru. No, not the Lion Empire. The Inca Empire we're talking about here. If you tapped on Mexico, you were close, but no tequila. The Inca Empire was based in Peru. You're perusing through that one, 89,000 of you are. The Incas were centered in the mountains of Peru. There you go. Best part about it, it was a tax-free society. Bring back the Incas. That's all I can say. And we're halfway already. We're at Q7. Let's go. Who famously painted a smoking pipe with the French language caption? This is not a pipe. René Magritte, Max Ernst, Marcel Duchamp. He was the smarty pants behind this. No, the artist wasn't just trying to troll you. He was actually correct. It wasn't a pipe. It was a painting of a pipe. And the genius was René Magritte. I'm gritting my teeth on this one. Oh my goodness, I'm gonna go with a savage question right there. 51,000 of you are down here at the halfway mark. 35,000 of you still in the game. That was a 21 savage right there. Magritte wanted people to question media narratives. Oh, by the way, I'm not a British chick with bushy eyebrows. Q8, which jazz legend was known for playing a trumpet with its bell bent upwards? Was it Miles Davis, Dizzy Gillespie, or Louis Armstrong? Three of the greats. All amazing. Three triumphant trumpeters, but which one was famous for his bent horn? If you chose Miles Davis, you blew it, because it's actually Dizzy Gillespie, 19,000 of you got that right. We lost half of you again there, as well as his bent trumpet. Dizzy is also known for his trademark balloon cheeks. You can kind of see them there. What a legend. Amazing music. All right, Q9. What key can you press to pause the YouTube video? K, V, H. There I am, always looking for the pause button. And there's a way easier way. But what is it? If you went for V, it doesn't stand for victory today. This letter will get you closer to that W. Pause. K is the answer that we were looking for. That's the letter in question. 10,000 if you got it right. We lost half of you again here at Q9. Now your keyboard is a full command center for all your YouTube needs. C is for closed captioning. F is for full screen. And K or space is for pause, but no pausing this game. We're heading to Q10. A NASA probe found last year that the solar system is losing which feature faster than expected? Jupiter's red spot, Mars's polar caps, Saturn's rings. Oh no, where is it gonna go? 
There's a lot of disappearing down here on Earth as well. Many of you guys, to be exact. Running rings around the rest. Saturn's rings is what we're talking about here. 7,439 if you're putting a ring on it. According to new data, you may only have a short time left to check out Saturn's rings. 100 million years, to be exact. The penultimate round. Q11. Which of these all-time sports legends competed in a prime number jersey? Was it Cal Ripken Jr., Larry Bird, Dan Marino? They're in a prime position to score a lot of points in this game. Some of you picked Larry Bird. Well, that answer is for the birds. Remembered best for his powerful arm and quick release. Dan Marino is the answer right here. And that was a savage question. Another 21 savage here on Q11. 5,000 down, 2,599 if you are still with us. Larry became legendary in 33. Cal was never late to number eight. Well, Dan passed his way to glory in lucky number 13. Inflate those footballs, because we're heading into the final two minutes. Yes, we are. We've got 2,599 players left in the game, another 1,349 using their extra lives. Smart people to get back in. And here we are. It's the final round. It's Q12. Which video game does not have an official Monopoly edition? Street Fighter, Fallout, Minecraft. You'll love to play Monopoly around the holidays. But you didn't play this one, that's for sure. There are 1,144 versions of Monopoly, but this ain't one. All three games have merchandised themselves out the wazoo, but who is not getting that Monopoly money? Opting for mobs and blocks instead of houses and hotels. Hopefully you weren't blocked. Minecraft for the win. We have 864 winners, you smashed it. <laughs> Wow, that was the ultimate savage question right there. We lost 3,864 winners today. Congratulations to you. Made it through the triple savage. Uh, we've got Swamp uh, WR. I can't read the rest of that, but it looks like you're celebrating already. We've got Tenchi, a cute little kitten right there. Doozy Moon. Okay, that's kind of a cool name. And Akira. A uh, bunch of winners right there. Congrats to all of you on scoring those points today. They will help you level up so you can win the big bucks. We've got lots of surprises in store this season. Remember, we are giving away more money than we did the last time around. A whole lot of cash. Well done, HQTs. You came. You played. You totally slayed. I'm Sharon Carpenter. Here's where you can find me. Say hi on the socials. I'd love to hear how you did today. So let me know. And of course, don't forget, tomorrow Scott will be down under, live from Australia, in celebration of the Lego Movie 2. You have never seen anything like this, I promise. And $75,000 is gonna be up for grabs. That is happening at 9 p.m. Eastern tomorrow. And of course, we are back at 9 p.m. tonight with 80s trivia as well. Until then, have a great day, everyone. Bye.